Let's do a quick sample problem like problem number 12 in section 1.3. Sketching the slope field without technology and then drawing some sample solutions. Let's take a problem ds dt is 2s minus s squared. We can factor that and write s times 2 minus s. And then we can make a table that gives us different values of ds dt for different values of s. First I could start off with s as 3, 2, 1, 0, and minus 1. That'll give me simple values of ds dt, and if I want more detail I can add some in between values of s on the half marks. If I draw a picture where the s-axis goes from minus 1 to 3, and the t-axis goes from minus 1 to 4. I put in the number for s, and I create the value for ds dt. For example, when s is 2, ds dt is 0. That means there's a horizontal slope line at that point. t equals 0 and s equals 2. When s is 1, ds dt is 1. So I'll make a slope line, slope 1, at this point of t equals 0 and s equals 1. But the beauty of autonomous equation is that the slopes are constant on a horizontal line. So everywhere when s is 1, I can draw this 45 degree line all the way across. Everywhere when s is 2, I can draw this horizontal slope line all the way across. And then for these numbers that I generate for the other values of s, I can trace slope lines that are constant along horizontal values of s. For example, when s is minus 1, ds dt would be minus 3. So down at the bottom here, I try to make slope lines that eh, look like a slope of minus 3. That's down 3 units and over 1 unit to the right. These slope lines, when I fill them in, I make one sample line on the x-axis and then just trace the others all the way across. I fill in a lot of slope lines for very little work. And that helps me draw solutions. Here's some sample solutions. A, s of 0 equals 2. That means when t is 0, I need a solution that goes through the point s equals 2. t is 0 and s equals 2 is right here. So I know that that solution has slope 1 at that moment. So I start off with slope 1. Then I know as I come up here, the slope is 3 fourths according to my chart when s is 3 halves. So I'm leveling off, approaching that equilibrium solution at s equals 2. Likewise, when I go backwards in time, I'm also leveling off to another equilibrium solution, the equilibrium solution s equals 0. I can draw all of these solutions onto this slope field. Notice the important features of autonomous equation. Slope field's constant on horizontal lines. And once you have a solution like B, any translation of it is also a solution like C, where the initial condition was S of 2 equals 1. So here's a very credible sketch of five solutions with very rough technology, no technology whatsoever. I'm just taking slope readings. If I want to see some real technology on this, I can pull out the book CD and type in the equation y and 2 minus y. I can't use the value s here. Let's run it the way I did for the previous picture that I drew by hand from 1 to 3, 1 to 4 maybe for the y's and from minus 1, 2, 4 for the t's and show this field. The computer shows me much more detail. I'll just rattle off some of these solutions. s of 0 equals 2. There's that solution. s of 0 equals 1. s of 2 equals 1 s of 1 equals minus 1 half. I'll enter negative 0 0.5 and s of 0 equals 5 halves. 2.5. Here's the same confirmation with technology of the picture I drew previously.